The score for New York City tonight in its crackdown on the spread of AIDS is one win and one loss. In two separate incidents today, health officials closed the Greenwich Village bathhouse, accused of permitting incidents of high-risk sexual activity, and a judge allowed another New York sex club to reopen. Child has earlier Bell is standing by outside now uh, near St. Mark's bathhouse in the village, and he has this live report. Here at the St. Mark's bathhouse, the new St. Mark's bathhouse, Friday night is usually the big night. But for the regular customers, the temporary court closing order put a damper on the evening. I want to tell us your name. A city attorney and a cluster of health inspectors arrived a little after 8 p.m. to carry out the court's orders. We're posting the signs as required by law on the doors. Shutting the door on this gay men's bathhouse is part of the city's attempt to stem the tide of AIDS by banning places that cater to unsafe sex. This is the court order that was just posted closing the St. Mark's bathhouse. It lists 49 violations of unsafe sex. We had overwhelming evidence of uh, high-risk sexual activity that has continued to take place in the St. Mark's over the last month, despite all the publicity uh, that has uh, been occurring over the AIDS crisis and the dangers of uh, high-risk sexual activity. The city defines such risky practices as anal and oral intercourse. The court did allow the reopening of Plato's Retreat, an uptown swingers club catering to heterosexual sex. Two weeks ago, the city closed the club on charges of prostitution and building code violations. But the city made no secret that the move against Plato's was part of its anti-AIDS campaign. The story is not ended yet, either for the bathhouse or for Plato's. There are more court hearings on the calendar for both places. Nevertheless, the AIDS campaign continues, and the city has other sex inspectors out in other clubs, but the city won't say where they are.